Okay, hello and welcome to this new video. In this video I want to show you what you can do if your computer, your Windows system does not boot. Either you have a blue screen or your computer is telling you that no operating system is found and what you can do. Well, in most cases we, you can access internal hard drives using a bootable USB drive. Uh, that's what you need. You need a USB drive and a second USB drive to back up your data. And I will show you how you create a Windows to go system to boot from and then recover your data from the internal disks of your computer. And it also works if you have BitLocker enabled. So let's get right to it. Okay, all I'm showing in this video is also described here in this blog post. Just click down the link in the video description there. You can find all the information and also the links to download the software required to do that what I'm showing in this video. Okay, the first thing we need is a Windows installation media file and you can download them for free from the Microsoft homepage. You can either download Windows 11 here or if you have an older computer and running Windows 10, I recommend downloading the Windows 10 version here with the media creation tool and for Windows 11 you can download the ISO image here directly. Okay, I will show it with Windows 11, however the steps are more like the same for Windows 10. Okay, the first thing we need to do is download the disk image here. So select, well, the edition, what you want to download and, well, it will show you some more options here like the product language. I will select English International and this will then generate you a download link which you click and then you can download the ISO file. It's several gigabytes of data. And the next thing we need is we need a tool to create our portable Windows installation and for that we use Rufus. You can download this, it from here, rufus.ie. It's a small tool. You can download here the portable edition, which requires no installation. Okay, I downloaded both files already. So here is my disk image, the ISO file, and here's also rufus. Well, the rufus tool. Okay, let's start rufus. And you need to confirm admin rights for that. And now we have to select here the device we're going to use. Well, this is my USB drive connected to your computer now and select the correct one here. Just be careful if you have multiple USB drives attached, the data on this thing will be deleted. So make sure that you have selected the right disk here, the right device. Now we select the disk image here by clicking the select button. So we, I select my Windows disk image file here, click open and as an image option, select Windows to go here. For the partition scheme, well, you can usually leave it as it is. However, if you have an older computer and the disk, uh, the USB drive does not boot, well, then repeat the steps and select MBR as partition scheme here. So I will go with GPT here. And now all you have to do is hit the start button. This will uh, bring up this dialog box here where you can select the edition of Windows you want to use for your portable Windows installation. And it's a good idea to select Windows 11 Pro here or Windows 10 if you're using Windows 10. There's not much difference between N and the Pro version. Uh, so I will select Windows Pro N here, hit OK. And this will bring up another dialog. So um, you have to uncheck this box here that to prevent Windows to go from accessing internal disks because, well, that's what we want to do with this portable Windows installation. We want to access our internal disks in order to recover our data from the other computer. Hit OK. And well, Windows 11, you can now remove certain requirements for the Windows installation like Secure Boot and Trusted Platform Module or remove the requirements for RAM and disk. Well, in my case, um, I will remove all the requirements here and hit OK. Now the disk uh, is created or the USB drive is created. So it'll take a few seconds and well, we will move forward. OK, the USB drive is now prepared and created. And now we have to unplug it from our computer. And now we're going to our non-booting Windows computer boot from it and recover our data. Let's get to it. Okay, now I've connected the USB drive here to my computer. And the next thing you need to do is to call up the boot menu or go into the BIOS and select the boot order in order to boot 
from your USB flash drive. This step is a little bit dependent on your computer model. Usually you have to press a certain key, F10, F12, or in my case, it's just the enter button here for my ThinkPad. So, okay, let's boot from the USB drive. Okay, if you start Windows to go for the first time, you need to go through the setup process of Windows 11 or Windows 10, depending on your choice of operating system. And, well, just select the language, go through the wizard and do all the steps needed. This only needs to be done once. Um, select the language and also um, the keyboard layout. In my case, it's Germany. Let's have a look here. German. Okay. Second layout we skip. Basically, you need all to do the steps that are required for the Windows setup. And I won't do, go through all the details here, just finish the wizard and after that Windows will be booted. And you can also create a local user account here. You don't need to set up a Microsoft account here. That's because we have selected the Pro version. And you also don't need Wi-Fi. Okay, Windows is now started from our USB drive. And as you can see, well, it looks more or less like a normal Windows installation. However, it runs from our USB drive. And now what you can do is you can access your local files in this PC, your local disk. This is um, the USB drive here, and this is our internal hard disk on the computer. And now you can access all the folders, all the files on the computer, and you can recover your data here from, for example, your personal user files here. And all you need to do is connect another USB drive and copy over all your data. And the nice thing about Windows to go is that you can also access BitLocker encrypted disks on your internal computer. You can just double click it and then you have to enter your BitLocker recovery key. And that's all you need to do. And then you can access your data. Okay, well, that's it. I mean, that's all you need to do. Uh, create a portable Windows installation in order to access your files on your computer without having to boot the internal Windows system. And once you have backup your data, well, then you can repair your computer or reinstall Windows. Um, well, you know, of all the files you need. You don't have to worry about that. Okay, well, that's it. Goodbye. <laughs>